Damato, is that is that are you getting your arms ready for Sunday or Saturday? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't pass it. I saw you on the little screen bottom below doing your little dance. Couldn't pass that up. Had to get it on. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? You excited to get hit uh, to hit Pittsburgh up this weekend? Oh yeah, definitely. Always, uh, always great to hit a PLE. I mean, even though even this one's a minor a B, whatever, but uh, those are the ones that surprise us sometimes. So. Yeah. So it looks like it's gonna be the last one of the year. So might as well enjoy it. Okay, that's smart. So you're not last going one live to... for the year, at least. How about Saudi Arabia? You gonna head over that way? <laughs> My passport's ready, man. <laughs> you are our, our global traveler for network. But uh, anyways, we're here to talk about. I assume the main event. For payback, as in Seth Rollins, your WWE World Heavyweight yeah. Champion, versus Shinsuke Nakamura. How you feeling on this excitement level? Why wise? Are you at a ten or like a one? At first, it was more like a four, but uh, the they did a good job the last couple of weeks to bring it to about a six or seven at least. Uh, and also, I was thinking with the uh, with the Steel City uh, Street Fight Edition that that maybe that might mean it, but uh, I'm thinking they're gonna stick with this uh, for the main and. Uh, I, I like how they um, the last couple was uh, they ramped it up. You bring Shinsuke off the uh, like the practice squad practically. Uh, <laughs> when was his last? Uh, nah, we should have done some research before. When when is his last uh, uh, single uh, PLE match? Uh, and, and it had to be. Uh, we'll do some research after this, and we'll, we'll add some notes or whatever. We'll look at the heel turn. I mean, he switched so many times. Uh, you could just plug him in, but but here he's really ramped it up with the uh, you know with the promos in, in Japanese with the subtitles. You know, talking talk about you know Rollins' daughter, how he's not gonna be able to walk it down the aisle, or getting real personal, at, you know, at the wedding and all that stuff. He knows about the back and and also there's been uh, you know rumblings that that Rollins really does need a surgery, and might have to drop the belt to this. So that they're playing into that, which is. Uh, which is awesome. So well, at least they brought it up to a, to a six or seven, and uh, I'm I'm sure we'll get a cash in Jones or, or something, or at least an attempt at a, at a cash in, uh, you know, a little little funky. So that'll that'll make it uh, interesting. Yeah, I think your assessment was right with a four all the way up to a six or a seven. I think he hit a home run there. I do think that Nakamura introducing the back into the storyline isn't necessarily for Nakamura, but it is for Seth Rollins down the line to kind of give him an Achilles heel to give him perhaps an out to uh, lose the title and maybe take a month or two off, which is pretty, pretty, pretty warranted. seems like they're doing that with Bianca Belair here in the late summer, early fall, give her a month or two off as, as she's been a, a grinder ever since that pandemic started. And Seth is in the same vein. Seth has been a grinder for forever for this company. So if he needs to take a month or two off, I can't think of a better guy on this on this roster that has deserved it more that's for sure yeah and and also if, it, if it's the main event the, the post is all screen judgment day and mm -hmm. uh with, with Rhea saying that the you know the judgment day is all going to get you know bent over and uh, whatever she's going to do if they yeah. don't uh, if they don't produce so yeah they, they definitely got to be involved somehow uh in, in the main event so that, that's always intriguing um you know there's gonna be a lot of eyes on the uh on the ramp to see who's running up and all that uh, during the whole match too, which will, which will add some extra sauce to it. Yeah. And then let's kind of talk Shinsuke Nakamura real quick. Like you mentioned, the character has been on a tick up here. Um, a little flippy floppy Jones, as you mentioned earlier, but I like how they kind of sunk their teeth into his strengths. Nakamura is what in his early to mid forties now. So there's not much longevity left in the tooth on at the top tier of this card, but Shinsuke Nakamura has kind of over overall had a very underwhelming WWE main roster run for you know the upside that he would present with his aura, legacy, and markness of presenting him or whatever. So I don't necessarily think he's going to beat Seth, but I think a good performance would go a long way for Shinsuke in the eyes of maybe management or in the eyes of us smarks or whatever you're going to say, but you kind of get the vibe that I'm talking. What, what's up with Nakamura? You think this is the the last kind of peak of his career? Yeah, I, I, I was high on him, especially with that, you know, that awesome NXT run with the crowd reaction. And that's another thing. Uh, I, I like how Seth brought in how all oh, the, the crowd used to get hopped up for your uh, and you're 
you're getting answers, and now it's all on me. I, I like how Seth, you know, did a nice throwback to that because that, that was a big thing back when Nakamura first came up with the with his uh, entrance. Um, that that mm-hmm. an event to be in in the building for, for a Nakamura entrance, and uh, and and I, I was uh, I was a real uh, big Nakamura cook, and then um, a little disappointed because you know I was so hyped for for the match uh, in uh, New Orleans with AJ, which was yeah. a disappointment, which was more just an angle match uh, built around his heel turn, and you know who's gonna kick yeah. each other in the balls more. And ever since then, he's kind of been. But but you kind of understand that for, for his sake, it's kind of like protect the body, and I'm, I'm just gonna coast and uh, you know get my money, take care of my you know the family, and, you know, and instead of diving off uh, stuff and doing you know 40 minute matches, so it's uh, you can understand. But it's disappointed from a fan standpoint because you, you want to see a lot a lot more from him. you want to see those hard handed matches that he has. But you know you have to go back and you know YouTube and uh, old New Japan stuff if you want to see those hard handed matches. You're not gonna here you're gonna get what you get, but. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so you mentioned something here that kind of sparked my uh, my little mind going off into a, a direction. So I do believe that this is going to be the main event, even though you maybe alluded to maybe the Steel City Street Fight. But I think we're going to get some kind of all time entrances here. Perhaps this, like you said, it's a deep pay per view. They want, but they want to prop this up, this main event up, which is not necessarily a main event, but they want to prop it up and give it the prestige and the real chance of it to succeed. And I can see two legendary entrances coming out of this, you know, without a WrestleMania stage or a big arena, but sometimes that smaller venue will smaller for the WWE, but like basketball arena venue can really ramp up for, uh, for a, a show like this. So I think we're going to get some nice uh, all time entrances presenting itself before this match. Yeah, Pittsburgh's a, a great crowd. They, they, they only get a PLE, you know, once every uh, few years. So they take it right away. They're only, you know, like, like 1,000 shy of a sellout. They, you know, it's been that way since they went on sale, even without any matches announced. So, um, you know, Roman's off on this one and uh, you know, a couple of other big ones. A little. You know, they, they held off uh, Gunther Gable for the for the Raw, but I oh, guess they want to yeah. do that based around the record, uh, whatever reasons there. But uh, uh, yeah, I would have loved to have seen that on, uh, on this Yeah, card, but... for sure. Hopefully it's because the Honky Tonk Man doesn't work Saturdays, right? So <laughs> I need to clear <laughs> off quick on that. How do we not get the Honky Tonk Man in Memphis? Like, what are we doing? Right? So uh, close to the record. Uh, come on, yeah. I need a little, come on, I need a little bit of that, right, Devano? Yeah, uh, I think his mouth. Cash too many yeah. checks that he can't cash. Yeah, he's not. Well, he went in the Hall of Fame in New York last or a few years ago, so it's not like there there's terrible yeah. ill will. So, all right. Anyways, Damato, so do you think that we uh, this match will live up to the entrances and the hype that I proclaimed it as the main event? In in ring, definitely. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I always. Uh, I always rely on Rollins. Uh, you know, he gets a lot of he gets a lot of hate, and uh, he's been through a lot. But the, I mean, the guy went through. He did like you know jobs to like ten P, ten PLEs in a row, and uh, and he's still on top. Uh, I don't I don't doubt Rollins. Uh, you know, he sure. he he really won me over. I'm not like you know one of his uh, top ten fans, but uh, every 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 show, every show I see I see him live. He always his matches always do. It takes two to tango. Uh... A little nervous on Nakamura's end. Not that he can't not go, but I don't know if he's going to meet Rollins at the level Rollins likes to get to. But anyways, I think that it should be very good at least. That's where the heel turn uh, walks in. will help him. He could do the heel stalling and uh, more histrionic uh, and stuff. And, uh, and, you know, that'll help him out, you know, to, to make the match uh, quality a little better. Yeah, we'll see how that shakes. But anyways, D'Amato... So, final question here as we get out of here. Uh, Cashin, yay or nay? I think he kind of leaned a little bit, but what do you think? I think there's going to be an attempt and a kind of a fuck up. Uh, the old uh, JD Mac uh, with Finn. There's going to be a there's going to be some uh, Judgment Day issues there. You know, Rhea's going to come out, and uh, I, I think it'll probably be a, a fucked up Cashin. You know? So a and Rollins to attempt- walk out. An attempt or an actual cash in that was unsuccessful. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, an actual uh, unsuccessful. Uh, uh. I don't. I see. I can't. See Rollins Damian will walk Priest. out and probably lose to somebody else on a Monday. Uh. I can't see Damian Priest be a world heavyweight champion. It'll be a short one. If it if it is, it'll definitely be transitioned. I know. I just. I don't know. I don't see it. All right, Tomato. It's been great. It's been Rand. So Rollins is walking out as your champion, and will you be walking out of Pittsburgh? a satisfied customer leaving this PLE. 
Ah. But B show, you got low expectations, and uh, yeah. they, they usually uh, exceed it. So, mind yeah. you, leaving two, three, five minutes early, like just like how you roll. <laughs> I think we're okay this time. <laughs> we, we don't we don't got to be in no traffic. We'll be all right. <laughs> I I hear you, brother. Damato, it's been real, buddy. See you on the next one.